Hola mi gente bella y bienvenidos a mi canal. My name is Sandra. If this is your first time here and welcome to my channel. In this channel, you'll be learning and I'll be speaking about everything high-end or luxury candle making business tips. So in today's video, we're going to be making luxury soaps and we're also going to be chit-chatting about candle making business tips and, you know, chit-chatting about things. So in this video, we are going to be jumping right into making the soaps and I had already mixed in my oils together. I'll be putting down the recipe that I use for my oils um, and I'll have the uh, equipment that I also use in the description box below. If you want to know exactly how I make the oils, I do have another video which I'm going to be putting up in the um, info card above and also in the description box below. And if you want to know um, more about candle or rather uh, soap making, um, you should follow Katie at Royalty Soaps because she is amazing at making soaps. And I'm just making it, you know, for uh, not in big batches as she makes it. So let's get into the video. So I already added all my oils together and all I'm doing now is just mixing my titanium dioxide with the oil so that the titanium dioxide actually has something to mix in with so that when I do blend it into the oils it is nice and smooth and all mixed in with some of the oils. So now what I'm mixing now is going to be mixing it back into the oil batch and then I'm going to make sure that I have everything inside of my oils and then I'm going to mix it again with my stick blender and then I'm going to be adding my super fat at 5% which is my shea butter and I put the lye water to the side and I'm going to add that just in a minute just to make sure that everything is mixed in together. So then after I mix in my lye water, water I'm going to be adding in my fragrance oil and that fragrance oil is a mixture that I came up with. Oh and also I'm adding my poppy seeds right now because I love poppy seeds and um, now I'm going to be adding the lye water and then I'll be adding in my uh, fragrance oils because I didn't want my fragrance oils to make my soaps come in very very um, early into the uh, soap phase so that's why I added in a little bit later in the video and again I'm going to be skipping a lot because this video would have been like an hour long and I didn't want to do that so I'm going off a little bit off topic here but I was going through my comments section as I was making this video and I was looking and I realized that a lot of questions that I get from a lot of my videos is pertaining to um, shipping on Alibaba. Well first of all I remember that I just got an email from Candle Sign stating that they are going to be increasing the rates of, well, actually not increasing the rates, but rather they are going to be adding taxes for the state of Florida. And if you're not tax exempt, then you're going to be paying taxes for Florida. Also, I got an um, email from them stating that they will be um, changing their uh, companies that, that manufactures their glasswares or their jars because they're having issues with... Uh, supply and demand obviously because there's a lot of supplies well rather there's more demand than supplies so they're going to be outsourcing their glassware from obviously China so um, and evidently if they're going to be outsourcing their products so that means that their products are going to be a lot higher which means that we're going to be paying more for shipping so and in that regard, I have not had any issues with shipping from China. I do know that shipping is going to be a lot expensive now throughout uh, the ending of the year because of holidays and because people are um, ordering a lot now because of uh, the holidays, obviously. So, um, so when people ask me that or tell me that shipping rates are expensive, 
it's expensive everywhere and it's not only china and actually it is a lot cheaper in china as opposed to ordering anything from the united states because here in the united states it's based on your location it's based on weight it's based on whatever you're ordering so over in china the process of ordering might be a lot cheaper which is the product itself but shipping might be a little higher but however you are getting a lot more product then you are getting it here from the US and I am not bashing any company here in the US I'm just saying that if you are going to be ordering in wholesale and that wholesale item is custom made for your company then you cannot complain about shipping because shipping um you know it's expensive everywhere not only in China it's expensive here also in the US so um I have not had any issues with shipping in China, but I have to say that throughout the holiday season and throughout the ending of the year that shipping is expensive everywhere. So it's not only them, it's everywhere. And I do like to have my items have a hint of custom, a hint of luxury, a hint of branding so that's why i order from them and the best thing for you in my honest opinion is for companies to order things at the beginning of the year and then um make your plans to be selling for the holidays because if you don't have a plan then obviously you're going to be stuck with trying to order things at the end of the year and shipping is not very very fast it's very very uh delayed and it's much more than 30 days if you do wait long at the end of the year so those are my recommendations for um shipping even if in the united states and also if you are ordering from anywhere in out of country just make sure that you are ordering from different companies not to put all your eggs in one basket and also to shop around not to get the first quote that you you get and then think that everybody is going to be selling the same thing at the exact same price because that's not the case so uh, i highly recommend that you do shop around that don't just order from one place and that just don't get that one quote when you first hear from it because there's probably another company that can give you a better deal somewhere else. So right now I'm going to be cutting all my soaps. I did um, show you guys two different soaps that I made, but uh, the Jasmine and Berry soap, that one is the one that I did not show you on camera because I had already made those soaps, but the one that you're seeing right now is the Pacholi and Grapefruit and it smells amazing. And because I didn't have grapefruit um, embeds or Pacholi embeds, I had to make it pretty with some roses and I did add roses, uh, essential oils to the actual soap. So that's why there's roses on the soap. And aside from that, I wanted to also discuss the fact that running your own business is not easy. It takes a lot of creativity and it also create, takes a lot of um, planning, a lot of making sure that you understand what's going on in your business with your customers, with your target audience so that you could actually prosper and come up with new ideas so that your customers and your potential customers could be very excited about. So with that being said, I wanted to let you all know that be very positive. Don't expect sales the first day that you launch. Don't also expect that everybody is going to flock to your website the first day that you are opening because that's not the case it might be the case but in reality um you have to be patient don't rush into stuff and i also wanted to let you guys know that don't only post on instagram 
and not post anywhere else for your business. Make sure that you also are utilizing uh, Pinterest and Pinterest is a very, very good tool to use for your business because Pinterest acts as a search engine just like Google. So people go on Pinterest to search for ideas, to search for creativity. And if you are that creative, even if you're not, just put your items on there because it is an extra uh, level of marketing that you don't necessarily have to rush to do. You just post on there. Just make sure that it is relevant to your business so that people can come in and go ahead and purchase or look at your stuff because you do want traffic over to your business. And right now what I'm doing is cleaning my cutter machine and I do this every single time I cut. I just don't show you on the video, but I just wanted to say that before. So right now I'm cleaning up and I'm going to show you guys all the soaps all lined up before I end the video so you all will see exactly how it all looks like but I'm going to make sure that I'm going to add my protective paper on the counter so that I could just put them down and not have the soaps directly on the countertop and I'm only gonna make this pretty for the pictures but as soon as I am done with the pictures and showing you guys I am going to lay them flat so that they could get dry and cure so that I could put them up on my website and the one scent that you're looking at right now. The first one was the Petroleum Grapefruit and the one that you're seeing right right now is the Jasmine and Berry Scented uh, Bar of Soap and it smells so so nice and that's the one that I did not show you on camera. So um, follow me on Pinterest, you guys. It's um, a very good tool to have again for your business. And again, my business name is Aroma and Roses Candle and you'll see that on Pinterest. And I do have blogs there that I do accompany with my videos. So I'm trying to get all of those videos, uh, well rather the posts blog along with the videos up so that you could have two options either reading it or watching the videos and obviously watching the videos is a lot quicker but reading it is also helpful as is so thank you for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching if you have any other comments any other suggestions let me know in the comment down below um again this is like my handful of time making soaps and I can be doing it wrong but however it has worked out well so far and as you all know that making soaps takes a little bit of time to cure longer than uh, candles so it is the soaps that I'm making are still not up in my store so um, it's gonna take a little bit just to make these um, soaps available in my shop and again this scent is the it was jasmine and berry and patchouli and grapefruit so um it was fun making this video and it was fun making the soaps so don't forget to like subscribe comment down below and don't forget to hit that notification bell because it does help my youtube channel and it also helps other candle makers find my video so hasta la próxima. Bye, mi gente bella.